Okay. We got a uh, Ogrenade playing Sedge in the purple, which is a very risky play on random because if you get a map which favors aggression, you will get punished so hard for it. So much forest, so much mountain. Yeah, but it's not. Yeah, it's pretty. It's not yeah, near anything. It's in the back, so it's not like the most important yet. But, mm, yeah, I guess that's true, but he's gonna nerf a lot of night movement unless there's not villages in the right. See, Ooh. there's not that much terrain in the middle. Ah, uh, it's still kind of. There's still a medium amount of terrain. Yeah, ooh, that's a very forward-looking uh, stronghold. Yeah, that, that village line looks pretty flat. <laughs> that stronghold is interesting. Yeah, that, that looks is, like a very go. flat line of villages. I wonder if next generation we can have the, the symmetry be diagonal? Yeah, I mean, I think, like, the main thing for, like, future map gen would be to have it be wider if it's going to be like this. It's so orderly. Everything in a nice line. Yeah, we've got forward tower. Interesting. The barracks are going to be behind that. Yep. And the commanders are also going to start pretty far back. Oh, yeah. They're going to be in the <laughs> corner, apparently. They might get trapped behind all this terrain. Oh, yeah, there they are. <laughs> <laughs> On the mountain. Wow. Okay, let's go. Alright, we've got Morpheo playing Sacred. Okay, I, we didn't know that beforehand. So we have Sage playing as Ogrenade and Sigrid playing as Morpheo. No, it's Ogrenade playing as Sage. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Sage playing as Ogrenade. Yeah, there's like one time when Barrett said we have Sage playing as Sage. And I was like, someone like corrected him, be like, no. Then Bert was like, no, no, I said the correcting. <laughs> Sedge playing a Sedge, yeah? Yeah, yeah, that was like, that's perfect. I, I really appreciate it. Early Trooper. Not going to find any villages to capture, actually. Morpheo is keeping a build to be able to afford that. Well, actually, I'm gonna go back to capture a village. So, I guess they prefer having their Trooper over. So I'm mm. curious if this one's going to be aggressive on the right-hand side. No, just goes for the, the windy route to capture that village. <laughs> and if there was enemies or terrain, it would also be able to go over that route. <laughs> mm. We have a sword to dig up by Sedge, but that sword is dead. Unless... Uh, we'll see uh, how... Aggressive Morpheo uh, wants to be with the swords. So there, I mean, I guess there's only a low HP side near, nearby to punish. Yeah, but there's also a sword behind, maybe. And it's a sword created that. <laughs> so we see a harpy. So I guess Sigrid doesn't have anything to deal with that until she gets Guru. <laughs> Very true. I wonder what she's at right now. 55? Okay, so... Mm, not quite there yet. Uh, okay, we got one capture, so 58 plus one sword hit. I guess... Oh, yeah, this prevents the... Yeah, I think more from going just crit. staying out of range of the follow-up sword crit, which is... Understandable. Oh, oh no, the air trooper. And that's uh, actually very I mean, good gold value, so... Yeah, that's good gold value for a low HP sword, but I mean, usually you want to keep your swords alive, generally. Hmm, Harpy does 20% yeah. commander, that's good to note. Yep. I don't know if Sigurd can build grooves this turn, I don't think so. Uh, what percentage is she at? She is at 67, oh, yeah. so yeah, she's a little wild. Yeah. I don't think there's that... any real good combat follow-ups this turn either. Mm, the Harpy gets yeah. a free hit Sigrid. True, yeah. I guess... least, I'm really pleased that, that, you know, we saw a flat line of villages during the generation. 
And what's really good for this game uh, not to be a style fest is that they didn't like both capture their line and then let the opponent have their line. They're they're both like going into the other player's line. I think they recognize new. that if they don't play aggressively, then it's gonna become a big flat line and a one of the like you know ne you never want to see a flat line front. It's really like bad for you and your opponent. So. <laughs> and they both realize but that it's good for Sage because Sage likes these kinds of replays. <laughs> That's true, actually. Yeah, Sigrid, and because yeah, Sigrid does so well off of aggression early. Like she wants to go in, she wants to play aggressive, so. Yeah, she's just gonna do that, and I think yeah, she's actually gonna get really, groove there. If you really, really wanted to win this game, then uh, then you could stall as Sedge, but you know, looks like Ogrenade also likes being ahead early, which is kind of a different way. Like it's not an invalid way to be early, uh, to be ahead when you're playing Sedge, you know? Yeah. Oh, we got another good gold trade coming in here. Actually, it's just a very good move in general. Like, swords do so much damage to air troopers. I think everything destroys air troopers, like, especially dogs. Like, it's insane how squishy they are. Except mages. Mages don't even touch air troopers, I think. Uh, they do some uh, damage. Um, how much do they do? Like, 40? They do, like, some damage. Like, it's not crazy, but it's probably. It's they, still they do like, decent. They do like 35, 40, no? Something like no, that. No, I think they do around 50. Oh. Huh. It's just that everything else does more, so. You, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I guess it seems, yeah. It seems less than it actually uh, is. Sigrid's gonna eat that witch. Uh, that harpy, I mean. She could. So that's decent know. value. This is very for a golem. Ornade actually has two ballistas out now. <laughs> oh, two ballistas, yeah. That's actually quite funny. I've never seen that before. I don't think that's gonna kill the. Yeah. Yeah, you would have thought the harpy would go first, actually, as well. Yeah, yeah, in that case. Mm -hmm. that... Okay, so yeah, so we'll have a. some. Yeah. Mexican? Small, uh, small optimization mistake. Sigrid should have grooved first so that she can start charging her groove, her next groove. But no, yeah, it's fine. And these things are really important in tournament matches. Yeah, I mean, I think, yeah, hitting with the Harpy before the Mage would be like the bigger optimization. Yeah, also, but, also yeah. an optimization worth making. <laughs> Because now the mage can die. Hmm. Does this kill? I don't think it died. Oh, uh, no, it died to the harpy, actually. Maybe if the 1% spearman finished off. Yeah, the one the lower health spearman can finish off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or it could have in theory, but. Instead, they killed the village. I don't know if it's better. But it looks like Sand is actually pushing. Uh, like. Pretty hard into into Morpheus territory. Wow, the ballista actually reached Sigrid, even though she's very far away. I didn't realize just how far the ballista can shoot. That's the power of the ballista. That's insane. <laughs> wow. Um, did the harpies just not do anything that turn, or did they go for the? I think it did not. Oh. They missed. That's I think unfortunate. It just stood there menacingly. <laughs> yeah, because that could have been a dead mage. Are you afraid? <laughs> Looks like they're both going pretty aggressive, but uh and yeah, they're kinda cleaning each other's armies, but Morpheus follow-up to this is gonna be ballistas, and no, I mean Ogrenade's follow-up is gonna be ballistas, but Morpheus army follow up is looking a bit more uh, useful 
because the list guys don't do that much when when there isn't anything to protect them. Although that that spot between the mountain and the village is pretty protected. <laughs> that's uh, that's gonna be kind of annoying to deal with, I think. It's actually one of the better randomly generated maps, I think. I think a combination of that and they got the right commanders for it. Because if they were playing two very stoly commanders, this could have been very much not the case. But Sigrid, I think, breaks through that bottom left side just in virtue of being able to do that. I think a very stable match. Which is unlike most randomly generated map matches. Oh, so mm. we're gonna keep pressing through. Yeah, I wonder. Like, both of them are kind of in position to go for a front switch onto the HQ. We have a knight crit on Sigrid and a um, ballista hit. Yeah, else. I would have thought the mage would go down to kill the balloon. Oh, Sage Goon. Ooh, nice. Okay. Nice. Only 25%. <laughs> Not good enough. Oh, but the knight will. Yeah, with the air trooper. Oh, the air trooper doesn't reach. Yeah, but I mean, Sedge could just hit the knight. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Sedge probably will hit the knight and then the air trooper. Actually, it doesn't need to cover for the ballista. Yeah, it just goes catch Oh, actually, the it does, but it does need to, and it does. <laughs> Moving the sphere into the balloon, even though it's the end of the balloon's turn. Yeah, I mean, we usually tell people not to have that habit, but it's not a big deal. <laughs> this is not too big of a problem, yeah. Crit on Sigrid! That could have been a least on Sigrid this turn, I think. Yeah, I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's actually... Although, I think uh, Sigrid is about to get grooved pretty soon, right? She's in the forest, so maybe not. Yeah, but there was like an air trooper there as well, ballistic could have hit. I think Harpy could have reached as well. Maybe, maybe. I think Sigurd would have died. Would have died. Yeah, yeah, maybe. It's nice not to go for it. Maybe they're I just confident they can win. Both taking over the tower. Oh, you oh. Oh, and, oh, that's very dangerous for Sigurd. That's, uh... Yeah, I don't know about that. That's the special, I think. <laughs> Although, oh, maybe you can clear every enemy here, right? Sword crit? Oh, I don't think that damage. will kill, but... Sigrid will need some heavy protection to survive this turn, because there's a knight and a ballista. There's yeah. actually two knights. So... I'm not sure Sigrid can survive this turn. Oh yeah, the mage can just crit her from above, actually. Yep, and... Oh, alright. Oh, yeah. Mage, mages, uh, mage damage to commander was nerfed, so... Thanks to that, we get to see this Ballista lethal. <laughs> uh, not every day you get to see that. Nice. Oh, grenade takes the game. <laughs> Apologies, I have a bit of a cough. Uh, yeah, Ogrenade oh, wins with double Ballista. Who would have ever have thought? Was a ballista kill at the end too? I mean, if you actually look at the score, Morfeo has a better kill count. But I'd say Ogrenade had more control, I guess. Like in the top right, it was pretty, it was more clean for them. But yeah, ends up with the ballista lethal and uh, you know, wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, I don't quite know because what happens at the end there, because Sigurd wasn't a lethal and Ogrenade missed it and then Morfeo just kind of let it a second one happen. Um, I don't, I feel, I feel like there was a retreat path. I think there was a wagon nearby she could have retreated into if it came to that. So. Okay, I'm back. Oh, the game ended. The game did end. Oh. Uh, you missed the ballista lethal. <laughs> oh. 
I mean, I guess the movie, uh, I guess there was a little before on Secret 2, so. There was, there was, yeah, um, so. Oh, but that was a good match, like, Sigrid put up a good fight against Sedge. It was, and uh, yeah, this is one of the better random gen maps we've had, and one of the better random gen games we've had, so. Yeah, games, I think, rather yeah. than map. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, if it wasn't Sigrid being able to push that much, then, yeah, it wouldn't have quite gone that way. Yeah, we well played to Organage for spotting the lethal. Morpheo just overextended a bit, and yeah, well played. And that's uh, that's us for this stream. So I'm gonna go back to the screen.